May 28, 2012, more heliostat documentation. Uh, same one square meter mirror, same uh, cinder block base, um, 8 inches by 16 inches. Uh, the circuit is here on a breadboard. You can see it. Uh, the chip in the center is an L293 motor controller, and then the, that over there is a voltage regulator. I'm feeding it uh, 12 volts and dropping that to 5 for the chip and stuff, but the motors are getting the 12 volts so that they could be far distant from the uh, DC power source. Um, and then it's an RJ45 that goes back and talks to uh, the Arduino, which is running the code. Um, there are also, in addition to the... Uh, motor controller, there are the black, white, gray wires are for the hall sensors, which you can see are placed there on the motors. Uh, looking at this motor, that, that motor's got a cover, uh, which is fixed to the plate so that it, the spur gear can't rise up. This one has got the cover off so you can see it. Um, and you can see the notch there in the pinion gear. There's a magnet inside that which is what passes over that if I can sorry and so there's the hall sensor uh, the magnet passes over the hall sensor so that it's counting rotations and that gives a kind of crude form of of tracking as to how many rotations the motor has gone through the code is is largely finished although there's some problems I've got a problem with the calculation of the azimuth angle the code is sourced from cerebralmeltdown.com um, and uh, I'm going to post uh, some more detail over there if you want to follow it up. This uh, project is documented on www.heliostats.com. I guess I'd just note that uh, so far I'm satisfied with how cheap this whole system is and how manufacturable this would be and, and the, um, the linkage system, which still needs improvements. Uh, you can see it's, these are all using straight threaded rods. That's, there's a, a hex nut which the spur gear is held, there's a hex nut embedded in that spur gear which surrounds that threaded rod and then that turns pushing the threaded rod up or down which ultimately pushes the mirror up or down um, to account for the, for the change uh, that, that the uh, connection point won't always be directly above the threaded rod there's this clevis and yoke kind of piece that allows it to have a, an angle on it and that's still kind of sloppy although this is reasonably tight in terms of the angle that it holds. Anyway, the, the positives are probably that it is, uh, can be made extremely cheap and extremely manufacturable. Uh, this could be done as a CNC monolithic piece. This could easily be done as a, as a simpler circuit. These could also be done as injection molded plastics and, and then it would be a, quite a fast assembly um, and quite a cheap project. So that's what's good, but it uh, doesn't have enough time out. There are a lot of improvements that could be made, but it doesn't have enough time in the, uh, out in the wild to see what's going to break. That's it.